Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and the van build. We're going to be getting on with some stuff today. It feels like ages since I've done anything on the van, if I'm perfectly honest. We've been busy, well first of all it's been raining and then in between that we've been filming reviews. Now because you guys were so great at getting back to me on the previous video down in the comments about the reviews, a lot of people would rather have them separate from the van, uh, van build videos. Now I'm not going to be able to do that entirely. Some of the smaller product reviews will sneak in and they'll just be a quick one minute two minute type thing but for the bigger products we've been getting recently they're going to have their own standalone videos and that's what i've been busy filming so they're going to pop out midweek these aren't going to go on forever this is just at the moment because hey i'm not made of money i've got a van to build there's certain gadgets and gizmos and things i would like in the van that i can't really afford and if a company says we want to partner with you and send you something for free I'm going to take that. Of course I am. Anyway, let's have a quick look at what we've been up to so far this week. So straight away, you're going to notice that we've got some seats. Now, I do believe in the last video, we had just the driver's seat in because James had taken the other ones out to do some work on them. Um, and it's really great. We're able to go around as a family again. It's not finished yet, but I don't know if you can tell the difference there. The passenger seat has been lowered to compensate for the swivel base on there. Now, James is gonna come and take the van away later this week, oh, sorry, next week, and uh, do the same with my driver's seat. And that way it's much more comfortable for John and I. Hello, mittens. How you doing? <laughs> and then this is Ella's seat, which is fixed in for the first time ever. Now, James has done these wonderful, he's machined these himself, um, massive bits of steel that go right through to the body below, and they are bolted from underneath and above, but obviously we've got to cut out that much. He didn't know what length we need them, so he made them like that. What he'll do when he takes them to his workshop is he will cut them down to the required length, and then this bit will come down to the floor, well, the flooring that we're gonna have under there. And then Ella's got her very own little swivel seat there. Well, I need to fix the swivel. Then you might notice behind that, we've got quite a bit more insulation done. This has just been happening on and off over the last week, two weeks. <laughs> Whenever he's in the mood, John just pops out here and he maybe sticks a couple of pieces in. He enjoys playing with the squirty foam, so he sticks the foam around the outside. And to be honest, this is like really, I am so happy with it. Really solid, solid. Um, plus I'm using off cuts that I've got from work. Uh, obviously there's gaps in between here and there. It doesn't really matter. It does the same job like up there. It's absolutely fine. We fill the gaps with foam. So as you can see behind me up there, I've fitted a light bar. A little bit of an extra that I really, really wanted. Maybe not as essential, but I've taken it out for a drive on a night and oh my God, I wouldn't be without it now. So that's another thing that needed wiring in through the body and down. I've also got myself a couple of little mini light bars to go on the back for reversing. These are all on their own independent switches. That is also going to have to be wired through. So I'm probably going to take care of that rather soon before I seal up all the walls. So that's high on my list. But most important, and what I'm going to get on with today and probably tomorrow is... Let me show you. So this is a Max Dome fan that I bought right at the beginning of the build, knowing that I was always going to want one in the shower. Plus it's got its own light on there. So we might not even need an extra light though. I might put one in anyway, we'll see. The only problem I've had is where to fit it because the solar panels are in the way. Then I was going to fit it on maybe the side wall, but now I've got a really cunning plan for a surfboard rack for John's surfboard, which I'll show you at some point. Um, but that's going to put it a surfboard in the way so i'm back to putting it in the ceiling now as it turns out after some really careful measurement i only need about another 20 mil maybe 22 23 mil clearance under the solar panels so therefore i've got to take the solar panels off again and raise them up but i've got a plan let me show you so as you might remember if you watched the video these solar panels were not the most fun thing to fit i really don't want to take them off so what I'm thinking I can do, if we look closely here, that's my main unistrut, the big thick bars, the 40 mil stuff. This is the 20 mil stuff that sits on top that the solar panels are fixed into. What I am planning on doing is adding another small section of unistrut and just taking this off here, putting it on top of there and fixing this down. And that will get me exactly the 20 mil I'm looking for. If that's not enough, I've also ordered these 
Now they will be painted. I've got painted ones in the garage ready and waiting. And I can put that, which is gonna get us at least another three or four mil, that on top, and then this will then come on top of there. Yeah, that's kind of my plan at the moment. Now, obviously I can raise them all up easy enough, but then the front one where the fan's going to be, which is under there, is gonna actually have to fold out of the way while I cut the hole and fix the fan. The weather's not been very kind to us in the UK at the moment. It's feeling very, very wintry, well, autumny, wintry. And uh, yeah, it's not like it was a few weeks ago where we could just, yeah, let's do this job today, it'll be fine. Now we've got to really plan things around the weather. <sighs> it's okay, but I'm really starting to look forward to getting out of this country. <laughs> I want some nice weather. I've already been to screw fix and got some bolts that I need because if I start taking uh, solar panels off, I'm not going to be able to drive anywhere, am I? You see? <laughs> Always thinking. Let me show you this fan because uh, it's a cool little gadget. So for those who don't know, Max, this is a Max Air dome and that's in its seated position. So it sits on the roof there at that height and you might think, well, that, that would actually fit under my solar panel right now. But when you want to turn the fan on, you actually, from the inside, you push this like that and it pops the fan open. So then that becomes 10 centimeters that I need. So of course, I'm gonna try and give myself 11 centimeters of space. It's then got uh, a switch on it to turn the fan on. And then it also has, on the inside, it's got this nice little ring with its own little switch as well. And this is a light for the bathroom. So that's a nice dim light. We might have a more powerful light as well. And then I bought this, I'll have to put it in the description where I got it from, I can't remember. It's a camper van place down south. And they, they make these things on the, what do you call it? 3D printer, that's the one. 3D printer. Now, of course, this fits around here before I put it on the roof. And then it's able to fit over all these bumps and ridges because the place where I want it is right in the middle of a ridge and if I didn't have this I would have to make up this amount of space with Sikaflex and uh, like the mastic tape which is not ideal you can do it but it's not ideal but this is a fixed rigid piece so it just needs a bit of tape in between and below and yeah great I think it was about 25 30 quid worth every penny I think for peace of mind so yeah if I can get this thing on it's going to be a load off my mind because I've been wanting to do it for ages and I've just not known where it's going to go and then because John's moving on with the insulation and at some point I'm going to cut off from my jobs and help him and we'll get it bashed out we can't finish the roofing insulation until we know where that fan is and where it's going to permanently be so this has to happen I need to get it checked off my list out of my head and get on with my life <laughs> Okay, here we go. We've had a little break. It was raining for a while, so I went inside and helped John with a bit of insulation. I'm going to attempt to raise just one at a time. So let's find out if that works first of all, or I might have to undo an entire side, raise the whole lot. So like I said before, what I'm going to do is check that we can get the height first. I'm going to raise them, fix them, and then the van is drivable. The problem we have now is since I sold little blue, this is our only transport. So if I need to nip to the shops or anything, it's got to be mobile all the time, so I can't just strip it all down and, you know, leave it. <sighs> Never thought I'd be taking these off again. Will it raise enough? I think it might. So I'm going to add the extra plates for now, and if it ends up being too much, I can always take them out later. I'd rather have them in to begin with. Right. Whoa. What I'm going to have to do is pop these on and then twist them in for those who watched us assembling the unistrut in the first place you remember these uh these what's it's nuts they're special unistrut nuts that are designed to lock into the unistrut so you see these big square unistrut nuts if you weren't watching us when we put the unistrut on the roof that gets trapped it'll only turn one way and then it locks and it gets trapped in the unistrut and that's how you tighten it up. So what you can do is twist it sideways, pop it down in the channel and slide it into place. He says. Everything's now where we want it. <laughs> it's tightening it up that's going to be the fun part. That one is going to be no problem. 
Now we won't go crazy tight yet. So the next thing is trying to do this one with my fingers underneath the solar panel. I'm scared of buckling this solar panel, so. I'm thinking, because if I buckle that and it shatters, oh my God, that'll be a nightmare. I think I need to loosen the middle one. So back with you in a sec. I've just loosened those ones off and I feel a lot better about it now. It's not twisting the roof, uh, the solar panel. So, oh. oh yeah, that gives me a lot more play. Whew. All right, we are game on, it's happening. Right, I'm not gonna fix this bit down yet. I'm gonna get these razors in on all three of these. Then I'll fix them down, then we'll go to the other side. Right, we're at the front end. John's just getting me my supplies. It's going smoothly. It's working as hoped. I'll get on the other side and get them done, and then we're going to get the measurement and make sure it's plenty of room for what we need. If it is, and if the sky doesn't fall on us, then I'm going to figure out how to undo the panel enough to lift it up somehow, <laughs> to be able to cut the hole, fit the fan, put the panel back down all today before it starts raining thank you sir thank you very much this is one of those jobs for you guys watching it's just another little job this thing has been in my head for well over a month I'm not knowing how I'm gonna do this fan it's just been driving me batty trying to figure out how we're gonna get this nice big fan I was almost gonna scrap it off sell the fan and go with a, a, a much smaller sort of PC style fan. But it looks like we're gonna get this solved. <laughs> he says right now, we haven't finished yet. But when you get jobs like this finished, when they've been annoying you for so long in your head, it just feels great. And when you're doing a camper van, all those guys out there, I know there's a lot of you watching who've done your own vans or are doing your own vans. The list of jobs like that, that just swim around in your head. It feels never ending. So every time you can check one off the list, it just feels fantastic. Right, they're not going anywhere. Let's have a look at it from down the ground. They're gonna look high, but then I'm used to seeing them the way I'm used to seeing them. Most people will never notice or care, I'm sure. Oh, it's not too bad, really. Yeah, they stick up. And those things I've made are a bit unsightly. But at the end of the day, it has to happen or I can't have that fan. And I'm more worried about the longevity of the van. And if you're showering, the condensation, I, want a re I don't just want a little PC fan spinning around. I want this industrial uh, Max Air fan just whizzing and sucking all that moisture out. So that's the other side, which hasn't been raised yet. And then we go around. I know that light bar is really high. I'm going to try and do something with that. Go around here and those ones. Ah, oh, it's negligible, isn't it? It's really nothing. It's absolutely, it's a camper van. It's meant to be covered in stuff like that. Right, let's get around the other side. I might just quickly bosh those on uh, and then I'll come back to you. All right, they're done. They do look a lot higher than they did before, but I can live with it. I can live with it because I'm determined to put this fan in. The only problem we have now is you can probably also see the sky from where you are there. It really feels like rain's coming. It's not forecast, but what does that mean in this country? Uh, I want to do it. It's Friday now. Yeah, as you know, I try to release these videos on a Saturday. I've got nothing backed up at the moment. So this video releases tomorrow. Still needs editing. So um, I'm going to attempt it, I think. If I can make these solar panels sort of just lift up enough, propped up on something, so I can make the hole, treat it and get the fan in, then we're going for it. If that's a bit tricky and it looks like I'm gonna to have to remove a solar panel, then it's not happening today. <laughs> right, let's go and carry on with this then. And just like that, the weather has changed completely. Those clouds have all gone. We've got a crystal clear blue sky. I don't know what's going on, but we're having this job done. I've loosened all the bolts just enough I've obviously taken these ones out and I have jacked that up on all bits of insulation and I think it's enough room for me to just get in there and cut carefully somehow slowly with the jigsaw prep the hole treat the hole get the top stuck on 
And we got this done. We got this job done. Checked off the list. Let's go. Would you believe it? It started raining again now, and I've already started piloting holes, but I'm carrying on. We're doing it. We're doing it. Right, I thought that made most sense to do with a bit of a dot to dot because up on top there I haven't got much access so that gives me plenty of breathing room to uh, manoeuvre the jigsaw and not lose where I'm meant to be. Right, if it's not raining I'll take you with me, let's go up top. Changing the battery, part two. Right, we're just getting it deburred. I've got to get some paint on it, but guess what? It's raining again, isn't it? This is insane. And at some point, it's going to rain and stay rainy. Big hole in the roof, and it's raining. Yay! Right, we're back here again. Can you see all right? <laughs> this is tight. So, that goes thusly. That goes... thusly and really oh John yeah. I need you on the inside okay. what I need you to do I'll yeah. oh, come and show you I'm back in a minute I need to get John instructed on oh. something that's a bit tight oh no oh right that has to be on there otherwise this doesn't work okay okay I'm back right okay here we go right Right there, that's it, yeah? yeah? Do not move a muscle. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. And hopefully, you can let go. Okay. Hopefully that's just giving me the marks I need. You can pull the thing out for now, or just down. <laughs> Right, I just need to size those up a bit. Right, senor. Yeah. We are going to have to go again with the hoover out here. That's plenty. Right, I'll go and get the hammer right. Okay. Careful. <laughs> well, I'm going to start hammering where you have done. Done. Okay, watch out. Don't want to get drips on you. Oh, I've just realised I've put that right in the way so the camera can't see. Sorry, everyone. Right, obviously we put Hammerite on here for those who are new, who haven't watched our previous videos. And I say again, go back and watch them, what you're doing. Um, we put Hammerite on to stop the corrosion. I do have silver Hammerite to match the van, but I haven't got very much of it left. So I'll save that for anything that will be seen. This, of course, black that I'm using, will disappear when we put the fan on top of it. It also allows me to see where I've put it a lot easier as well. Right, there we go, we've got the hammer right round underneath as well and neatened it all up. It's still tacky, so the longer we leave it the better, obviously. Um, and then we're going to get this fit. Can't believe we're actually going to get it done today. But the sun's out again. Honestly, this is madness at the moment. It really is tricky to know what you can get done uh, on the van. Although mostly, mostly, we're finished on the uh, external stuff. <laughs> We're back in this cosy position again. It's time. Here we go. John? Yeah. Are you ready? No. Make yourself ready. Yeah, ready. Right, now then. I need to feed these wires down there. I'm going to see if I can encourage a couple of these screws to make their way through. Is that poking out? Can you see it? Mm, 
I don't see anything. Oh, yep. I see it. I see skies all blue. Now is it pushed up? Yes. All right, you ready? I'm going to screw into the wood. Okay. Is it screwing into the wood? Yeah. Push, hold that corner the most. I mean, hold it all, but hold that one the most. Okay. Are you still with me? You still, yeah, it's still working. Good. That has pulled up beautifully tight underneath. Now, like I said, I don't want to overdo it because we do want to keep some Sikaflex in there doing what it's meant to do. I can now have a little bit of a clean up round here. I've got my wonderful Don't Leave Home Without It Fugi kit. Nice, looking good. John. Can you look for some white Sikaflex, please, that might be open? Yeah. Good to put this stuff on. Now getting to the other one is going to be very tricky. Can't believe how beautiful and sunny it is right now. <laughs> so that is done. Now the ultimate test is I'm going to drop the solar panels down to height and we're going to test it and hopefully it doesn't smash a solar panel when we push it up. It should be just right. Let's find out shall we. I think I should push it up and drop the solar panels gently onto it rather than putting the solar panel down and then punching that thing up. Sounds sensible doesn't it? Let's be sensible. Right, John's on the inside and he's going to open it up for us. Do it, dude. And that's where it needs to be. So the solar panel has to be just above that. Let's see how it goes. Right, this is it, folks. I've pulled out a little bit of the insulation already. Ooh. It's tight. It looks really, really close. Get in there. <laughs> We're clear by about four mil. Four mil, that's plenty. Right, let's give it a test run. I haven't fixed these down yet, but that's probably a good thing. Come here. Can you lift the fan, uh, do the fan again, please? Pull it down. Lift it up. We're clear. I am so happy. I am, you have no idea. Like I said earlier, that's just been in my head for so long about how we're going to attach this fan. And I didn't want to have to go down a different route and we didn't, it's done. I just need to tighten up the solar panels. And do you know what else? Because I've got that extension cable, the 12 volt extension, we're going to wire it up quickly and give it a quick test blast. Yeah, we are. Okay, test fire time. I have put some Wagos on just temporarily. I've got my extension 12 volt. John's plugging it in. You plugged in, dude? Yep. You're in? All right then, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Push this up, press the button. Hmm. It's not working. I've wired this thing up before and it worked fine before we put it up in the roof, so. We got a problem. Oh dear. What's going on? Okay, process of elimination. Let's first of all find out if I can get it to work with the, uh, the Max Air fan, because we know that works. What is going on here? Well, the Max Air is not working either. So that leads me to believe it's this cable, but this cable's always been fine. Well, the Max Air doesn't work either, which is a good thing, because that means that it's probably not the fan. So the other thing to you to have a go with would be with the little light. And clearly that's doing nothing either. <laughs> I 
it looks like my wonderful 12 volt extension is maybe the thing that's not working right i've just pulled apart the um the not the socket the plug on the 12 volt adapter there's a little fuse in it and it's gone so phew, hopefully not the fan but now i need to know i need to know what other options have i got for wiring this thing up in the van now i could bypass the fuse or else i haven't got i haven't got one of these fuses to fit in there right i've got a standard household five amp fuse there was a spring holding this thing in let's find out <laughs> hey i'm back again sorry i'm just coming and going coming and going right i've had to stretch the spring inside because the fuse was shorter and right the lights the light's still plugged in let's see if that does anything hey right the light works light works that means the cable works now does the fan work hello look we've got an l she's come just at the nick of time l this mm. has been failing this is the new fan for the bathroom yeah yeah because obviously the bathroom would be here and you can come here oh yeah i showed you it the other day didn't i yeah. right so look hello um but the extension cable wasn't working it had failed. Let me just put this here so these guys can see. What do we reckon? What's everyone reckon? Is it going to work? Push that up. Oh, it's already up. Press oh. the button. Yes! Can you hear that? Let me get you closer. What am I doing? You don't want to be closer. The microphone wants to be closer. Ah, oh, it's working beautifully. So then what you do is, when you finish your shower L, let it go in for a little bit, yeah, just to, then you can turn it off. And that closes it, makes it watertight, yeah? Oh. Then you want a shower again, or if you go for some, like a poo or something. <laughs> push it up, turn that on. Oh, yeah. So it's just like, Temporary, because obviously um, that won't be plugged in like that. That's <laughs> not going to work. You make me laugh. No. Uh, did you hear that? I can't, she hasn't got a microphone on. Ella's was wondering if this line is going to be permanent. No, no, I wasn't wondering. I was saying that it's definitely not going to work, so clearly it's temporary. I wasn't wondering if it was. Oh, I see. I do apologise, <laughs> darling. You know, this, this here, look, you see that? Uh, yeah. Toilet fan. Yeah? Right. That is the wire that will connect to those wires, and then that's it. It'll be hooked up to the battery at the back. Okay, okay. Well. Right. Well, with that, guys, it's about time for us to wrap it up and head off. And it's nice that Elle's come to say goodbye to everyone for the first time in a long time. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, there are some review videos coming out. Like I said, I've been filming a few little reviews here and there. There's one very special one coming out involving a bike. I think Kev knows about that. I know you're watching, Kev. Um, yeah, so we're going to see you next week. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, share it out to everyone. It's helping us loads. And have a look. Oh, buy us a coffee. Look on the Patreon. Anyone who's doing that is just amazing. Thank you so much for your help. Oh, and John's back as well. Are you come and say goodbye? Yeah. All right, guys. So we'll see you uh, next week for some more. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.